Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, it's me, it's that P-U-L-S-3, and I have some pretty upsetting news, honestly. Daniel Bryan just announced on Twitter that he has to retire. So I went to bed pretty late last night, honestly. I went to bed at like 4 a.m. or something like that. So I didn't get, I didn't wake up till about noon today. Uh, then I went and I took a shower and I came back and I came out of the shower and I grabbed my phone. And I was like, let's check Twitter and see what's going on here. So I checked Twitter and I see on the, you know, while you were away Twitter thing and I see Daniel Bryan post. And I was like, oh, and the baby, he's coming back. You know, he's been talking about it, and he's been ready to come back and he's been cleared. And, you know, you've been cleared by this doctor, but he hasn't been cleared by this one. All this mission mash kind of stuff here. So, you know, I'm thinking, OK, he'll be back tonight. But I read and it goes, I have to retire. It kind of took me off guard. I, I read it and I was like. I didn't really know how to react to the situation at first. I was like, Do it. but I thought, you know, you were trying what like you were just talking about coming back. What? And from what I've seen on a couple of the websites that post dirt sheets and stuff like that, this is not a swerve. You know, at first I was thinking to myself, OK, he's going to pull a Mark Henry. He's going to come out in a salmon colored suit and he's going to be, you know, I got a lot left in the tank. But from what I've read, it's legit. Now, there's still a possibility that this is just a big work and WWE got all the dirt sheets, you know, riled up and messing with them and all that. And Daniel Bryan comes out and Triple H comes out and he's like, thanks a lot for all you did. You B plus player. And he's like, you know, ah, he grabs and puts him in a yes lock. And then we all, you know, pop loud and Twitter goes crazy and Raw's trending and they get ratings and they pop it all. And, you know, it could happen. But as of right now, from what I've read, it is a legit retirement. I've gotten the opportunity to see Daniel Bryan in the WWE live a couple of times. The last time that I got to see Daniel Bryan was I was at WrestleMania and I was sitting in a box seat and I got to see him win the Intercontinental Championship. And it was it was fun. It was cool. And I got to see the promo in the back on the Titan Tron where all the, the the legends came up and he interacted with them. And that was a really cool moment. I'm glad I'm really glad I got to experience that. But while his WWE work was great, I don't I still don't think that that was his absolute like finest moment as a wrestler. I think you have to go back and look at his Ring of Honor work. You know, it kind of reminds me of Nigel McGuinness in a way, you know, when Nigel, he was doing his work in TNA and he was doing a great job. You know, he was really getting it done there. And then he was going to go to the WWE and, you know, he was going to really hit that big time. And and while you can consider his TNA run a, a big time thing, because at the time TNA was, you know, popping pretty good ratings, uh, you know, as good, as good as they could have popped. Uh, you know, he, he ended up trying to go to the WWE and he couldn't because he had, you know, issues with his his medical and stuff like that. And that completely stopped him. And then he had to retire. And then that was it. And it kind of reminds Daniel Bryan's kind of reminds me of that. You know, Daniel Bryan didn't do TNA. He kind of went to WWE. And then right as he's about to get super popular, you know, he's he's super popular. And he's about to hit his, hit his peak and he's about to start, you know, going up and doing bigger things and just being the just the man. Right. It falls off. He gets injured. He has to retire. It's kind of similar. You know, not I don't think it's this, I'm not trying to, you know, say these are the same exact things, but it's kind of eerie how weird it is seeing Nigel and, and Daniel Bryan had huge feuds back in the day. And, you know, it's just kind of it's eerie to think about it like that because they both kind of ended up. On the, on the same thing when it comes to medical. And it, it, and it is sad. It honestly is very sad. Nigel was an incredible wrestler. He deserved the world. He deserved way more than he, he ended up getting. Um, I think he understands that too. I know Nigel's had some bad spots over the years. And I hope it's not the hope is not the da same thing with Daniel Bryan, honestly, because it, it was really sad seeing how Nigel reacted to the whole situation. And I, and I know Daniel still wants to continue wrestling. And I don't want to see him go down that same path where you know, he's blaming himself and he's super upset all the time. And, you know, like, that's not what I want to see. And I know that he's upset, but I hope it doesn't like hit him that hard. You know what I mean? And, you know, Daniel has so much ahead of him. Like, I'm not sure if this is total to USK favor or not, um, but I know that he's trying to have a kid with Brie Bella. And I mean, if they can have a kid, then I think he'll be a great father. You know, it, it, it might be like one chapter of his life closing right here, you know, and it's a big chapter. Like this was the, this was the middle of the book, the big swerve, you know, like this was the biggest chapter of his life. But he has so many more chapters to go. And I think that, you know, if he can keep his head up, man, he can have a great life. I just want to thank Daniel Bryan, you know, for everything that you've done for, for professional wrestling fans, everything you put your body on the line. Like, I can't thank you enough for the years of entertainment that you've given me, especially, you know, in the past, you, you the, in the past, like, couple of years, you've, been, you've completely shown everybody, you know, the, those headbutts with Dolph Ziggler are great. But, I mean, if you really want to go back even farther where this man was wrestling with a detached retina, like, this guy is legit. Like, if there was ever... A wrestler's wrestler, it would be Daniel Bryan. So thank you, man. I'm not sure if this is going to be a swerve or anything, but if it's not, like I said, 
Thank you so much. If you guys want to share some of your favorite Daniel Bryan memories down in the comments below, you can definitely do that. I think that would be really cool and a good way to talk about this. So thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Remember, if you did, to leave a like, subscribe. If you guys are not subscribed already for more of that WWE goodness on my channel, thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Daniel Bryan, for wrestling. And I'll see you guys on the next video. See ya! CM Pulse is the best. Yes, he is. Click the subscribe button. Yes, you know you want to. Yes, you do. Click it today.